Assistant number four, Toastmaster Sherwin Aman, with a speech title, Run, Chicken, Run. With a speech title, Run, Chicken, Run, Toastmaster Sherwin Aman. There's the story of a farmer who found an egg of an eagle. He put the egg with his chickens. And soon, the egg hatched. The eagle grew up with the chickens, and he thought he was one of them. Contest master, fellow Toastmasters, do you want to be a chicken? Chicken is a slang which denotes lack of courage to do something. Famous Indian comic character Shikari Shambhu is tagged as a coward, a chicken, because he always runs away from dangerous animals. Don't be a chicken! This is what my father used to tell me every time I'd feel afraid to do something. My father is a typical village man who owns a chicken farm. Every morning, I used to help him feed the chicken in our farm. He loved to crack jokes, like, what's the most musical part of a chicken? And I'd answer, the drumsticks. He found happiness in these simple things. After graduating from secondary school, I stayed and helped him in our chicken farm. But in my heart, I wanted to study, pursue higher education. So one time, I told him, Dad, can I please go to college? No! You have to stay here and help me with the chickens. It was a difficult process convincing my father that our life could change if I pursue higher education. Finally, through my mom, he agreed. And I was surprised because he totally changed his mind. He became this one person who was pushing me to go to college. But my concern was if, if we had enough money for my education. And my father told me, don't be a chicken, just go on. These chickens will pay for your education. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never get it. And as usual, because my father cannot be too serious for a long time, he cracked a joke. He said, why did the chicken go to KFC? I didn't know the answer. It was new. So I asked, why? To become the best chicken in the world. Let me tell you, my father's jokes are not funny sometimes, or most of the time. One time, he told me, you are not my chicken. In fact, you're not a chicken. I thought it was just one of his bad jokes. So I said, that's not funny, dad. And he suddenly became serious, and he told me, Son, you deserve to know. You're not my real son. I found you from a different nest. It was difficult for me to understand. But then again, I respected my dad's decision. And he made me feel that I was his own son. That's how great my dad is. I finished my degree, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. I was on top of my class. It was the first time my father, fresh from the chicken farm, got up on stage and put a medal of excellence to his son. I could see he was proud of me and his chickens. I saw tears in his eyes and he told me, I have to admit, son, I was chicken-hearted. I was afraid our chicken would not be enough to sustain your education. But you, 
You're an eagle. You deserve to fly. It was becoming too serious, so I was expecting him to crack a joke. But he didn't. So I figured it's my turn. So I asked him, Dad, why did the chicken cross the road? He immediately went back to his old self, that farmer who's always thinking of his chickens. And he said, who let the chicken out? Fellow Toastmasters, it is time to become the great version of ourselves. Who we are, where we're from, should not stop us from achieving something. Our attitude and commitment to excellence define us as individuals. We all have the potential. We all have the aces to be great. We just have to step up and work on it. I am Sherwin. I am a proud English teacher and a Toastmaster here in the kingdom. And I'd like to give you an advice. Have a positive attitude. Commit yourself to excellence and be the greatest version of yourself. Don't be a chicken. Back to you.